What's up guys, Raif Tarazi here. Okay, so I'm not gonna get into the statistics, the facts about how many cases there are, where they are, how many deaths there are, or anything like that, because that information is so readily available already. You can Google it, it's on social media, it's on the news, it's there, it's easy. What I do wanna talk about is something that has popped up on my feed recently, and I've seen articles about it, and it's whether or not can, will, does HIV medicine cure coronavirus? Let's dive in. So when we talk about the coronavirus, the coronavirus is not the name of the virus that's going around right now. The coronaviruses are a family of viruses, including SARS, which is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, as well as MERS, which is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. So the name of the virus that we're actually referring to is called COVID-19. You may have recently heard HIV in conjunction with coronavirus, and I'm not specifically talking about the Pence case where he's taking over the coronavirus. He was handling an HIV issue. Uh, that didn't go as well as one would hope. And while that is newsworthy, that's not what I mean. What I'm talking about is efforts that are currently underway to investigate whether HIV medication can actually help slow down cure coronaviruses, specifically COVID-19. In 2004, after the SARS outbreak, a study was conducted with the HIV drug Kalisa, Kalitra, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I said Kalisa, Kalitra. I keep wanting to say Khaleesi because it sounds like Khaleesi from Game of Thrones, which kind of gives this whole like fighting against the virus a very Game of Thrones feel to it. But it's not Khaleesi, it's Kalitra. And HIV treatments, medications are actually comprised of multiple drugs. This is one pill, but it has two drugs in it. Those drugs are lopinavir and ritonavir. So we're talking about these two drugs, lopinavir and ritonavir, which comprise the drug Kalitra. Are you with me? Okay. So in 2004, there was a study using Kalitra as uh, treatment for SARS patients, and it was shown to be somewhat effective. And since SARS is in this family of coronaviruses, we have scientists and researchers who are saying, Maybe this will also apply to the latest coronavirus, COVID-19, and possibly have the same outcome. Okay. Recently, Thailand's Ministry of Health... Okay. I just took the dog chew away from Duke because he... You can hear him chewing on the damn thing in the background, but he just went up and got it again. Recently, Thailand's Ministry of Health announced that it gave a Chinese coronavirus patient, Kalitra, as well as the flu drug Oseltamivir, which is also known as Tamiflu. And after two days, this person tested negative for coronavirus. Then we have Japan, who treated a patient with coronavirus from Wuhan, only gave them the drug Kalitra, and they recovered shortly after. In Washington state, the first US patient with the coronavirus was treated with remdesivir, which is actually a drug that was developed to fight against Ebola, and that patient recovered shortly after. So it's not just HIV medications that they're experimenting with, but also Ebola, and then also hepatitis C, because all these viruses are RNA-specific viruses, and all these medications are designed to treat RNA viruses. So people thought, well, if there's the similarity between them, maybe they will have similar effects on the virus. Now, mind you, we're not at the point yet where we can just start handing this HIV medication to everybody and say, here, here you go, cure the virus. We are a long ways away from that. A lot of this stuff is going to clinical trials. They're doing a lot of tests. A lot of this stuff has been shown to be effective in animals, but not necessarily humans yet. So a lot of research has to be done and to see how effective it really is. That's just part of the scientific process. So I am cautiously optimistic. And I think it's really cool to see how research into antivirals in different areas that we wouldn't even think are related um, coming together in ways that we wouldn't have imagined to possibly solve issues like this current coronavirus outbreak, COVID-19. Who knows what will actually happen if the HIV medication will prove to be effective or the Hep C or the Ebola medications. Who knows, but I think it's so cool that there's the possibility there, and that at the very least, it gives us insight into how the viruses function and will hopefully inform future medications that could possibly help everyone. Like this video if you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be posting a lot more videos just like this, as well as other videos on fitness, motivation, general health, um, lifestyle, you name it, and I'll have a lot more great content coming for you soon.